Like I said, when you come out to um, to these expos, you have to think about food. And you know, just want any ordinary Mickey's, Mickey's food. They want good food. So we've decided to stop into the booth for Running W. This is one of the brands that we've seen and heard a lot of over the years. And today is no different. This is definitely a Made in Belize product. We have Alexandra who is going to tell us about their products and what they have out here today. Alexandra, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? I am good. When we think, well, when I think of running W, I think of good meat. I think of like I would say one of the best meat there is in Belize. Um, but I don't imagine that you bring out no frozen stuff today. You bring out stuff that people can actually consume on the premises. Before we get into what you brought you brought out today, tell us what you produce. Well, we are a beef and pork producer, so we do fresh and processed products of um, both and combination. So we'll have your beef steaks and your pork chops and ribs, and we'll also do sausages, and we've got a great product in our pibil that's ready to go. So we're looking to move to some of the convenience um, of food preparation as well. Um, we've been in the business for over 36 years. At this point, we are a proud family-owned company, and we're happy to say that our, our products are homegrown. Made in Belize, by Belizeans, for Belizeans. What separates Running W from the rest? Quality. We really focus on our quality um, in from the start to the finish of the whole process, from the animals on the farm to the food safety aspect of processing to give you a, a very good, wholesome product at the end of the day. What got you involved in this line of work? I mean, I would imagine that some, when we think of the bedrans, we think of all sorts of things. And um, meat is definitely one of them. But do you know how they got started and what motivated their start? They got started when they bought the ranch, right? And so it start, they started as farmers growing the animals. And then there was a break in getting the product to the people. And so they fill that gap by just doing the meat production on their own and being, to, being able to control that quality. When people look on the shelves, why should they choose Running W? Because it's made in Belize, for Belize. You know, I choose it because I like bacon, <laughs> okay? And when I go for bacon, I figure, you know what, let it be a brand that I know and can trust. So when you go into the stores, let it be a Running W product when you're thinking of beef, pork, and trust me, bacon now one separate thing from pork, okay? Only just get it right. Bacon is is its own meat, okay? Its own category, right? Everything is better with bacon. Exactly. You know, my my family will tell you that I don't eat pork, but I eat bacon. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And so when you go, if you are like me and you know eat all sorts of things and you want to make sure that you get the best bacon, which is not pork. <laughs> Okay, it's pork. Uh, you must get it from Running W. Any specials out here today? Yes, today we have our famous sausage on a stick and we have our big bone, which is a pork chop with the ribs still on it. I love the big bone. The big bone is definitely a winner out here. I mean, if you come on out, the day young, so come on out and get your meal. Don't stay at home and cook. You don't have to cook today. You can come on out and get a show, get good food, get food that is freshly prepared right in front of your face all right anything else you'd like to leave us with just thank you for stopping by and we'll be here with lunch ready and hot to go that's right i absolutely love that you know this is the um made in belize expo uh, we see different people from different walks of life out here i have this gentleman that has been walking around with this bunch of leaflets in his hand thank you. sir tell me your name evan pardis from dangriga Evan, what do you do? I am a writer. So what brought you out here today? Well, I came out expecting to see some books being published from uh, our publishers from uh, Belize because we, there are a couple of Belize writers. I was hoping that we have at least about five writers sitting around somewhere in the expo. So far, I haven't even met one. But you know, that's okay. You are here. And what have you, what have you written? Well, this is really uh, Scarlet OB, obviously catch you uh, phrase this is uh, obviously a fiction about counteraction of Belize and uh, United States where can people see your work well it's not currently published that's the reason why I was here this is, you know the fine publishers and writers and you know people who can uh, I guess help but so far um, nothing I've written three pieces 
but this is this is one SOB that I'm trying to get uh, published. Well, you know, um, I don't know how to get you published, but yeah. what I can okay. tell you is that the internet is an amazing place. Okay. But not only that, you can, I believe that you can Google a lot of other people that have published their books, people like Z. Egel, Altia Moses. There are artists from Belize that have published um, Sharon Marin Lewis just for publish a book. Maybe you can connect with them through uh, social media and they can help to point you in the right direction because nothing is done overnight yeah. and maybe this is the beginning of you getting there. And I would assume they would be out here, I, I guess. Everybody have their own purpose and space and everybody push differently because you the stand here now, maybe your pushing will begin. Okay, I hope so. All the best. Yes, thank you. All right, we encourage you to come on out to this, yes. Thank you so much. We encourage you to come on out to this Made in Belize Expo. There's food out here, there's crafts, there's interesting Belizean arts, there's everything. There's something for everybody at this year's Expo. Reminding you when you're looking for juices, let it be Caribbean pride, all right? That is definitely the juice of Belize. When you are thinking of internet, let it be Digicel. And if you're looking for someplace comfortable and luxurious to stay, let it be Black Orchid in Boroughboom.